on March 8, 2013, the Swiss and their government decided to create more concealed discriminating laws which are in fact based upon the notorious Nuremberg laws of Nazi Germany. They want us foreigners to prove to them that we are integrated and live by Swiss standards. If not, the new Nuremberg laws of Switzerland will be put in action and you will be deported or thrown in one of the three concentration camps they are building, even when you're married to a Swiss and have children. The aim of these laws is to provide one group of people power over another group of people to decide whether the other group of people will have a life or not have a life. And who's going to evaluate the conditions and criteria of the execution of the law and its punishments? Well, it's going to be the same one group of people again. And I can tell you, it's not the immigrants. We're not even allowed to vote about it. It's about us. But it's all going to be decided by this other group of people who don't even want us to integrate in the first place. And most of the members of this other group would even feel joy to find people of the other group who haven't fulfilled their conditions so they can release the new Swiss Nazi laws on us. Thus one group is having total control over another group of people whom they already dislike from the beginning. These new discrimination laws which divides people into separate classes with each separate set of rights is an open door for worse to come. This is concealed Swiss Nazism through which they turn their more traditional weapons against foreigners inside out and use it again as a more sophisticated weapon. In other words, first they do everything to make sure foreigners don't integrate into the Swiss society and then they turn it inside out and say hey why aren't you integrated that's illegal not to be integrated so here you can see the name of the newspaper here where it was in there it is and here you can read the article well, just put pause and read it. They want to separate families and, uh, well, these are the new Swiss Nuremberg laws. Very bad. The Swiss don't want to talk to immigrants and now they made it one of their integration laws that you must talk a Swiss language. Well, whom you want to talk to? to these guys here you're not gonna, any, gonna have any word back I tell you they show us as black sheep rats crows and as all sorts of other animals in their streets and now they make it one of the new Nuremberg laws of Switzerland to be integrated act think and talk Swiss so they can attack you with it this will give any Swiss neighbour of yours a fine opportunity to denunciate their immigrant neighbours, a thing the Swissies love to do, to see their cops come running. These new laws are again another Swiss appeal for discrimination, racism and for even more violence from the authorities, as always very well concealed in clean Swissness under the criteria of Swiss integration. I mean, who wouldn't agree that integration is important? The Swiss are incredibly sly and cunning. And through these inside-out immigration laws, they want to obtain carte blanche for the SVP Nazi party, so everyone's foreign neighbour can be legally terrorised. So here we can see they want in fact the, um, the Nuremberg laws, they want it back. And it says vis just, it means aim well. Now well, what are they aiming at? Well, this is horrible. 
Now this is Switzerland. These are the new Nuremberg laws of 2013. Somebody do something. And here some Nazi propaganda of the biggest Swiss Nazi party uh, of Switzerland and in Europe, the SVP, or in France the U UDC. They openly say yes to racism. Well, this is, folks, this is what's going on in Switzerland and nobody does anything against it. Well, certainly not the Swiss Nazi Justice Department. They won't do anything against this. No, they don't. These new Swiss integration laws are being made with the help of a socialist, who is in fact a national socialist, as there are in fact no left-wing adversaries in Octagon, Switzerland. And the name of this so-called socialist is Simonetta Somaroga, one of the seven Swiss presidents or heads of state and mafia syndicate of Octagon and their Omerta laws of silence. Our Swiss politics needs criminals, eh? And the criminals need to have a uh, a face of an immigrant, apparently, so they can extradite them. So over all these years, these Swiss have used all their laws, power and hatred against us immigrants in order to prevent any integration from our side. And now they do the flip and turn their old laws inside out to use it as a second weapon and punish us for not being integrated. With a second law, they support the success of the first law. And this is exactly what the National Socialists did, so people accepted the new laws. This here, what you see here, is called the Swiss Bambi trick. Well, they financed the bloke here, didn't they? In my case, Sean Ross, they intensively terrorized me for 16 long years. Didn't give me neither a residential nor a working permit for 7 years. They criminalized me and put me in prison for 1 year, where they severely tortured me and broke my health. They kidnapped my child and terrorized my children. They murdered another child of ours. They drove us out of our home 11 times. I have no income whatsoever and no health insurance and have to hitchhike for three days to see a doctor in France when sick. Murder threats by the Swiss police and justice department. They arrested me with a terrorist squad because of my YouTube films where I asked for help against Swiss Nazi terror and I can't go out of the house alone. And now they'll come and say, Hey you, you are not integrated. We'll deport you and we'll put you in prison again. The Swiss master race sets the conditions whether you're going to have a life or not and control and steer your life by exerting control over the primary basics of your private life. And as a foreigner you have no possibility to make a complaint somewhere because the Swiss Nazi Justice Department just won't treat it. Only the Swiss may use that and use their authorities as an instrument of terror blow after blow. Well, here's the uh, logo of the Swiss um, Octagon border guard. Oh, look, this is Octagon. It's octagonal. This shows two times Octagon. And sometimes the victims of Swiss terror crack, like this Albanian guy some weeks ago on February 27, 2013 who shot down 10 of these Swiss terrorists who had been mobbing him for years. And then, as usual, the organized Swiss liars portrayed the poor man as a sick person with a criminal background and showing his dead Swiss as those poor little innocent Swiss victims. 
Swiss business as usual. When it comes to taking responsibilities for their crimes, these Swiss always say that they are so clean, neutral and innocent. But sometimes there's a price tag on the flip side as they didn't take any responsibility for financing Hitler in 1923 and so on. So here you can read the article, you probably read it already somewhere. Just put pause. Here you can see the danger of Swiss Nazism spreading through Europe like a fire. Here the NPD German Nazi party are um, taking the example of uh, Switzerland, uh, like kicking out foreigners, and uh, this is very dangerous what's going on. So for me, there was a very good prognosis for an integration, as I already spoke German and French, but they did everything to render my integration and that of my children impossible. Well, what else to expect from a country and the people who financed Adolf Hitler from 1923 on and got away with it? The Swiss smile through their teeth with their neutrality swindle and they are incredibly sly and evil. This is Octogon, the heart of evil that rules the entire world. Octogon of Switzerland, founded by the Templars on August 1st, 1291, out of whom the Freemasons were born in this true base of the Per A Pharaohs. Octogon as an eight legged cross spider sitting and waiting at its base in the strong mountains, giving all the orders to its worldwide web of Freemasonry on all key positions in the entire world, executing the orders of Octogon, the eight-legged cross spider, in the center of the web, pulling all the invisible strings of control. This is Octogon, Switzerland, base of the Pharaohs and the Templars.